Hi guys, Jangro here, and welcome to a mod spotlight on the new Valhelsia Furniture mod. This is a brand new mod for Minecraft 1.19 Forge, and it's available on CurseForge. I will link to it in the description. We're going to take a look at all the furniture available in this mod, plus some pretty cool features. You can see some of it around me here. And at the end of this video, we're going to take a look at what's behind this curtain. So stick around. Okay, here we are in, in what looks like the back of a theater. If you're thinking that, you are correct. Again, we'll see what's on the other side of that curtain, end of the video. But what we've got out here is all the stuff you can make with Valhalsia furniture. This is going to be kind of like a trip to Ikea, but trust me, this stuff is really cool. First thing up is an oak table or a wooden table. There's nine different wood types and 16 different colors of things. As you'll see as we go through this, you can make a single table out of sticks and planks, and they connect together like this. So a single table looks like this. If you put them next to each other in a rectangular shape, you can get anything up to a five by five table and you just place them next to each other and they connect. As long as you do it in the, the right orientation. There you go. Next is a table with a tablecloth, which is you just take your table, in this case an oak table, and put a carpet on top of it and you get a tablecloth on it or kind of a runner. And again, depends on how you place the table it will connect them and put the runner together. You can kind of do this different orientation and you get the cloth going in the other direction. Pretty cool. Again, you can do very large tables, mixing a tablecloth table, and it will kind of put that runner right in the middle. Next up, chairs. There's also nine variations of vanilla woods for the chairs, and that is stick and two sticks and, and three planks. You can get any of these different chair variations. And you can sit in these chairs. Right click on it and here we are sitting in our chair. As you'll see later, mobs will also sit in chairs like boats, which is very cool. You just left shift to get out of the chair. Variation on chairs are covered chairs and you use wool in the recipe instead of two, two planks in the seat part. So all 16 colors and also you can get a hay chair as well. If you, I think if you use hay bales in that recipe, pretty neat. And then there's an upholstered chair, which has fabric up the back as well. So it changes the recipe, just put wool up the back as well as the front. And again, all the different colors and get stools, all the different woods. Stools are made like this, sticks, planks. And again, you can sit in stools, just like any of the chairs. Stools are kind of neat because you can orient them a little differently depending on the angle that you place them at. So you can get kind of corner facing stools as well as squared off stools. As you can see here, we've got a fly resting on our, on our stool. Again, mobs will sit in chairs, seats as well as we can do that. We can get an upholstered stool by using wool in the recipe. Get out of my seat. Next up is desk lamps. We have desk lamps that light up when you right click on them. Those are made with stick and glowstone and glowstone and the wool of the color you want. And you can also activate desk lamps with redstone. It toggles it. It's not like a redstone lamp that only powered is only powered when redstone signal is going to it. The redstone signal toggles the status of the lamp. Pretty neat. Next up, we have curtains. And curtains are wool and sticks like this. And you can put them on the face of, of blocks. Open and close them by right clicking on them. Pretty neat. And you can also activate them like a lamp with a button. Again, it toggles the state. You can put curtains in all kinds of rectangular configurations. Right click on it, open it. And again, they're activated with a button. It toggles it. Curtains are pretty fun. Finally, we have desks and Desks are neat because they can be configured in different shapes, not as broadly as tables can. You can only have a three long desk. You put a fourth one, it doesn't connect. And you can put desk drawers on them as well. And again, still maintaining the three length maximum. We can put two drawers and a desk in the middle. That's not much of a desk, is it? That is just some planks and sticks in a different configuration for the desk itself. It's pretty much like a table, except for it's got this back on it, like a desk. That's pretty neat. And the desk drawer has a drawer, like a slab there, like it's a drawer. And that's this is really neat because you can... They're like a one, one by nine 
slot chest. That's cool too. Of course, what's a desk without a desk lamp? As I mentioned, there's also some cool functionality. If you sit in a chair, you can detect that something is sitting in a chair with a redstone comparator. Check it out. It's off. And you can, with a, with a redstone pulse, you can eject something from a chair. So here's me getting ejected by myself. But mobs will also sit in chairs. Let's see if we can get some of these guys to sit in a chair. Come on, you know you want to. Have a seat. Take a load off. There you go. Let's get rid of these other guys. Seats work just like boats. He's stuck there. We can hit this button, kick him out. Let's sit down again. Good job. All right, let's go take a look at some of this stuff in use. Around the corner here, we have kind of a model home. Kind of got encroached on by this structure. It's now the entrance. And we've got nicely appointed home. We can open and close the curtains by hand or with a button. Pretty nice. What do we got in the drawers? Ooh, some lapis. Let's head in. And when here, we've got the back room of this theater. Desks, lamps. All right, let's take a look at behind the curtain. Get one of these buttons. Oh, we've got an audience. I wanted to show all the different colors and all the different woods of all the different chairs and stools. And I ended up with, uh, with kind of a theater here. So we've got mostly piglins, couple flies. They're a bit noisy. Let's see what happens if we hit one of these guys. Oh, we're all stuck in the chairs though. They're not happy with me. Oh. All right, well that takes care of that hostile audience. Here is literally every single block in the Valhalsia furniture mod. We've got all of the upholstered chairs here, all the different woods and all the different colors. Over here, we've got all the covered chairs, all the woods and all the colors, all the stools, all the woods and all the colors, different table configurations. You can see how these stools fit together and place them differently. This whole stage is a table or a bunch of, or, or several tables. Here's a, here's a table, here's a table, all tables here and out to here. And I've put some curtains down here to kind of cover that up. That's kind of neat. And I use some curtains over there on the, on the corners on those, um, as well as up in the balconies. All right, I think that's going to do it for this Valhelsia Furniture Spotlight. I hope you got some good ideas from seeing all the different blocks and some of the redstone interactions in this in this mod. Very cool stuff. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like the video, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Let me know some ideas you might have. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I appreciate you.